friend of mine brought me this package. Inside it there is a blouse which I should alter. If you like sewing and you get many requests from your friends, teach them how to mark where you must make the corrections. Can you see? Two pins worth a thousand words. Measure the cuff and the point which will be the final length of the sleeve. The end of the sleeve must be wider than the cuff. Now use sewing chalk to mark the shape of the new sleeve. Place pins on the chalk line. You can place the pins one centimeter away from the line. This way you can cut the excess fabric and then go to the overlock without moving the pins. Turn the blouse over and fold it in half so the sleeve with the pins is on top of the other sleeve. Make sure they are lying flat and align the seams. Take scissors and cut the excess fabric on the line. Without removing the pins, move the upper sleeve away and place pins onto the second one. Place as many pins as you think is enough. Now let's go to the overlock. Start sewing and remove the pins as you go. Make sure to align the seams where the sleeve is attached to the blouse. Then sew the second sleeve the same way.
use a mending needle to hide the thread tail. Take the cuffs and cut the fabric near the seam. I will use the overlock to cut the seam. Take the sleeve and insert the cuff inside as shown in the video. Align the seams and pin them together. Notice that the wrong side of the blouse is facing out, so the right side of the blouse is facing the right side of the cuff. The opening of the sleeve must be bigger than the cuff, so stretch the cuff and place the second pin opposite to the first one. Then place two more pins to hold the cuff securely. Basically, you must divide the sleeve into four equal parts with the pins. Pin the second cuff the same way. Now, let's go to the overlock. Remove the first pin and place the sleeve under the presser foot. Stretch the sleeve as you sew. Make sure that the overlock is cutting the seam from the cuff. Sorry for the shaky footage, the stabilizer of my camera isn't working. Use a mending needle to hide the thread tail. Finally, place the blouse on the ironing board and give the seams good press. This is the final result. I can't put the blouse on because it's not mine, but you can see the sleeves. And here is a picture of the blouse. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you in my next video.